Let's try to solve these problems. Find dy over dx for the following. So let's start with 1. y is equal to 5x square root of x. So let's transform square root of x into fractional exponent. So we will have 5x times x to the 1 half. So multiplying x to the first times x is to 1 half. So applying multiplication law of exponent. So we will just copy the same base x and then add the exponent 1 plus 1 half. So we know that 1 plus 1 half is equal to 3 halves. So if you apply the power rule, that is the derivative of x raised to n is equal to n x raised to n minus 1 dy over dx will be equal to, so this 5 is just a constant, so just copy, then times the derivative of x raised to 3 halves using power rule, so bring down the exponent 3 halves, copy the base x and subtract 1 from the exponent 3 halves, so we will have 5 times 3 halves or 15 over 2, x raised to 3 halves minus 1 or 1 half, so therefore we have 15 over 2 x raised to 1 half or in terms of radical it's equal to 15 over 2 square root of x for number 2 we have y is equal to the cube root of x times x squared plus 5 so let's try to multiply first the cube root of x by x squared plus 5 so you can distribute the cube root of x but let's try to transform first cube root of x into fractional exponent so that's the same as x raised to one third. So we will have x raised to one third times x squared plus five times x raised to one third. So multiplying x to the one third times x squared. So applying multiplication law of exponent, copy the same base x and add the exponent one third plus two. So one third plus two, that will be equal to seven over three. Then plus 5x raised to 1 third. Now getting the derivative, so dy over dx. So we can differentiate each term for the first one, x to the 7 thirds, applying power rule again. So bring down the exponent 7 thirds. Copy x, then subtract 1 from the exponent, so 7 third minus 1. So if you simplify 7 third minus 1, that will be equal to 4 over 3. Plus, for the derivative of 5x to the 1 third, so copy this 5 constant, bring down the exponent 1 third, then times x raised to 1 third minus 1. So if you multiply 5 times 1 third, it's equal to 5 over 3. And then x raised to 1 third minus 1, so 1 third minus 1, we know that's negative 2 thirds. So we will have... 5 thirds x to the negative 2 thirds. So this can be the answer or if you want to transform x raised to the negative 2 thirds into positive exponent, we will have 7 thirds x raised to 4 thirds plus 5 over 3 x raised to 2 thirds. So this will be the final answer. For number 3, we have y is equal to 2 square root of x over x. So Let's divide first 2 square root of x over x. So if we transform square root of x as fractional exponent, it's equal to x raised to 1 half over x. Now, if we divide same base, x to the 1 half divided by x to the first, what we will do is to copy the same base x and subtract the exponent of the numerator 1 half minus the exponent of the denominator 1. So we'll have x raised to 1 half minus 1 that will be x raised to negative 1 half. And if we try to apply power rule to get dy over dx, we will have, so copy this two constant, then bring down the exponent negative 1 half, copy the base x, then subtract 1 from the exponent negative 1 half. So simplifying, we will have 2 times negative 1 half, so that's equal to negative 1, or simply negative x raised to negative 1 of minus 1, that will be negative 3 halves. Or if we transform into positive exponent, it's equal to negative 1 over x raised to positive 3 halves. So this is the final answer. 
For number 4, we have y is equal to 3x squared minus 7 over the 4th root of x. So we can distribute this 4th root of x, meaning we can divide each term on the numerator by 4th root of x. But let's transform first 4th root of x into fractional exponent. So that's equal to x raised to 1 fourth. So distributing x raised to 1 fourth, we will have 3x squared over x raised to 1 fourth minus 7 over x raised to 1 fourth. So again, applying the division law of exponent for the first term, we will have 3 times x raised to subtract the exponent 2 minus 1 fourth. So if we simplify 2 minus 1 fourth, that will be equal to 7 over 4 minus 7. Then let's transform x raised to 1 fourth under the denominator into negative exponent. So we can apply power rule. So that's equal to x to the negative 1 fourth. Now we can get the derivative dy over dx. So for the first term, we have 3, just copy, constant. Applying power rule, bring down the exponent 7 over 4. Copy the base x. Then subtract 1 from the exponent 7 over 4. So let's simplify. 3 times 7 over 4, that will be 21 over 4. And then... 7 fourths minus 1, it's equal to 3 over 4, right? Then minus, get the derivative of 7x to the negative 1 fourth. So negative 7 times power rule again, bring down the exponent negative 1 fourth. Copy base x and subtract 1 from the exponent negative 1 fourth. So we will have negative 7 times negative 1 fourth. That will become positive, right? Positive 7 over 4. And then, x raised, so negative 1 fourth minus 1. So that will be negative 5 fourths. If we try to transform this into positive exponent, we will have 21 over 4, x raised to 3 fourths, plus 7 over 4 x raised to positive 5 over 4. So this will be the final answer. Okay, so now it's your turn to try to find dy over dx given this value of y and just comment your answers.